Hello everyone, in this task, we are going to perform how to install Prometheus on Ubuntu 22.04 for LTS. So now we will discuss about prerequisite for this task. First, Ubuntu 22.04 for LTS VM with pseudo privileges, sufficient storage system, then good internet connectivity, then next 10 web browser installed, then next open port 9090. So steps for the Prometheus setup on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. So firstly, we have to update the system packages. Then download latest Prometheus on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. After downloading, extract Prometheus setup. Then configure Prometheus on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. After configuration, Prometheus then create systemd configuration for Prometheus service. The sixth step is start and enable Prometheus service. After all the installation and configuration done, then access Prometheus on web browser. Now let's connect to the instance which we already have created through SSH in mobile storm. Here, copy the IP address of our created EC2 instance and go to SSH, then add your IP address here and specify username as Ubuntu, then go to advanced SSH login and use your private key. We have been created during creation of EC2 instance. So, first step is, so now we have to update the latest package with this command. Now copy this command and run in Ubuntu. Now we can see it is updating the latest packages. Now in this next step, we are creating system user group for Prometheus. Let's copy this first command to create system user. So this command is used to create Prometheus system group in Ubuntu and copy this next command in Ubuntu to create system user. Next command is used to create system user Prometheus and add this user to the system group Prometheus. Next step is to create directories for Prometheus to store Prometheus configuration file and libraries. Let's create Prometheus directory in etc location with this command. Now copy this command run in Ubuntu. And now let's create Prometheus folder to store libraries of Prometheus. Now fourth step is to download latest Prometheus in our Ubuntu. Now let's run this command. It is the latest version of the Prometheus. Here, now it is downloaded the latest Prometheus version. Let's now extract the Prometheus setup with this command. Now we can see this folder is present here which we have extracted. After extracting, let's navigate to the Prometheus folder. Here we can see all this subfolder in this folder. Now next step is configure Prometheus on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. This first command is to move the Prometheus folder to user local bin location. Next command is to move prompt on file in to user local bin. Third command is to move console to etc Prometheus location. Next command is to move console libraries to etc Prometheus location. And last command is to move Prometheus.yml to etc Prometheus location. Now let's move to next step to set ownership of Prometheus user and group on Prometheus configuration file. First command is change ownership of user local bin Prometheus directory to this user and group Prometheus. Second command is to change ownership of user local bin form tool to user and group Prometheus. 
next command to change ownership of etc prometheus to user and group prometheus next commands are also to change the ownership of console console libraries and library prometheus to user and group prometheus Now next step is to create Prometheus system D service. We have to create Prometheus dot service in etc system D service location. So let's create Prometheus dot service file with this command. And copy this. This is format of system D service for any tool. Here we can see our execute start file where we can do start stop from this user local bin. Then this configure file at etc prometheus.yml this storage file is here then console file is at console and console libraries are at console libraries if we miss this then our system the service will not start and stop now save all this content and exit now reload this systemd service with this command. Now let's enable the systemd services startup with this command. And now start the systemd service with this command. And then now check the status of the Prometheus service. The status is active running. We can see. Now let's access this service on browser. We have to assign one port to run our service on browser. For that, let's assign one port. Now go to the E2 instance which we already have created. Go to security and now then select here default. Then security ID. Security group ID and then go to edit inbound rule and create one rule. First select here custom TCP. Then assign 9090 port. Then select here allow anywhere IPv4 and add this by saving it. Now let's run it on browser. First copy the IP address of EC2 instance and give here in browser followed by the assigned port 9090. Now you able to see monitoring Prometheus service screen. Thank you.